Hi to our wonderful East Kent um, members. Uh, it's Bev here again. Um, I thought we could all do with a little treat for ourselves. Um, and I was looking through some recipes and I found a one mug pancake recipe. It looks quick, it looks easy, and it looks really, really tasty and scrummy and yummy. I'm just going to go and wash my hands first. Remember, 20 seconds soap and hot water. A good wash. Let's know what you're all up to, what you've been doing these past five, six weeks. But I'm sure we'll all be back together very soon. Right, there we go. Right, here goes. Let's make these pancakes. So firstly, we need the mug. No um, fiddling around with weighing scales or anything. It's a large size mug and a bowl. Self-raising flour. So just fill the mug up with self-raising flour. Don't need to worry about sieving or anything like that. We're gonna whisk it all together in a minute. Top, a little bit more. I think that should, that should be about right. And um, we tip the flour in the in the bowl. Little pinch of salt. Um, one egg. Just the one. Doesn't matter, does it? It's all in. Is that all right? Cloth. Just mix that in a little bit. Getting all the flour from the sides. Let me get our mug again. Fill it up with milk, doesn't matter if it's full fat, semi, or um, skim. Make it all well in the centre. I'm just grinding out the cup. I'm not sure my bowl's not big enough, it'll be okay. Try not to get it over the sides. So what have you all been doing then in this time while you've been at home? <coughs> Seen some lovely recipes coming through. There's been onion bread, um, celery soup, cookies, crispy chicken, pizzas. So lovely that you're trying the recipes that I'm making. And, in, and enjoying cooking. See that thick at the moment. Give it a bit of welly. <laughs> those lumps out. This should make enough for two, two people. Um, you can even have it as a brunch or breakfast. It's um, totally down to you what you put on it, on them. Today I'm going to do um, something sweet so that you can put savoury. shining today which is nice. Later I'm going to give my little dog sassy, she's a bit smelly at the moment, a shower, clip her nails, make her look pretty. And then my husband's going to do a bolognese for tea. Not much planned but enough to keep us busy. 
See all the lumps coming out now? And the last little bit of milk. And the good thing about this is it's so easy. Don't worry about making a mess. I think... one side I'll just wipe the top down um, as you can see I've got all the lumps out but don't worry too much and the consistency it should just hold slightly like this a little ribbon effect okay now the next stage this is optional um, I've got a pair here just to give it a little bit of um, a little bit more flavour I'm just going to cut the ends off and then I've, I have washed the pair I'm just going to grate the pear in. You can grate the core in as well, but I'm not going to go that far. Just to bulk it up a bit and give it some more flavour. That pear juice. Mm, lovely. Pop that over there. Put my hands. Mix it in. There you go. Alright. That's about done. see the batter's ready so now I'm just going to turn on the oven obviously with the frying pan on top on a sort of like a medium heat I'm just going to add some butter you have to excuse the very old frying pan I've had it for years I can't throw it away so <laughs> See the butter's melted. I'm just going to put my ladle. My ladle. That's one. I think, I think we'll try two. Same time. Oh. Maybe I put a bit too much on that one, but it's all about learning, isn't it? Gentle. Let's check this one. A couple more seconds and then I'll turn them over. Lovely, lovely. Right, be brave, just go whoop. Be brave. Lovely. 
don't have to be the same size or perfect shape. As you can see, they're going to be quite nice and fluffy. quite high. A little push down. Mm, it's very nice. Be really nice as well the taste of the salty butter with the pear and then once they're done I'll dish up and uh, show you what I'm going to actually dress these ones with another little push down that just helps it cook and then we should do another turn and look Oh, gorgeous. Oh, look, fluffy and crispy. I think they are about done. All right, lovely. All right, pancakes are cooked. I'm going to place them on the plate. I think two about that size should be enough um, for breakfast. Um, on these ones, I thought I'd do um, some a nice Greek yogurt on the side. A little bit of honey. Not everybody likes honey, so it's down to the individual. Um, and some blueberries. Little sprinkle of blueberries. Um, but on these pancakes, you could do some nice, sweet, crispy bacon with maple syrup, or you could do a poached egg um, and um, a sausage pate. Um, so you could either have a brunch or a breakfast. Okay, enjoy. That's it. Right, I get to taste this one. <laughs> mm. Feels fluffy. If you can, if you can see. I'm trying to get a bit of everything. Mm. Oh. Mmm, gorgeous. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Lovely. Well, I hope you did the recipe though, guys. Absolutely delicious. I'd love to read your comments. Sorry, excuse me. Um, take care and be creative.